Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to New Hope here. Welcome to the lobby. My name is Hattie, and I'm in a weird spot today. You are? I'm Just not a, I'm emotionally? Not a... <laughs> or... <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit of all of that. No, in a weird chair. Oh. I'm not often in this sure. chair, and so I feel like I have to address that right away with our friends who are... You're in that chair often enough. It's, it's been normal. a while. Maybe I should have said it that. It has been a while, yeah. It's been quite, yeah, so I don't feel prepared for it today. But welcome anyways. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a great episode of, of The Lobby. I'm here with my friend Michael. Hi, everyone. <gasps> Ooh, I get applause. That's fun. Not just any applause. Wow. You get raucous applause. Thank you. And my friend David. Yeah, I saw that happen from a mile away. You could, we could do David. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Michael, that was really good. That was very good. I've been doing it's like that you practice or something. Years. Yeah. Um, Michael, you're rocking some of our new merch. Yes, I wore this T-shirt today to represent. New Hope. <laughs> <laughs> you were, you're just really on top of it. You wanted to have all of our lobby friends. Yeah, yeah. and if you want one of these, we can send you one. Um, I think they can also get them on our website, I too. Believe, oh, yeah, they can, they, just, they can just buy I assume they're in the online store. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Check know it out. We should probably know that Maybe if we're not. That might be an it, exclusive <laughs> color. That actually well, is true. I know, I know these that might, we got these locally. Yeah, so these might not be available on, on the line. Not, yeah. But Michael will send you one, as he mm. promised. I mean, he did promise that. I said we could send you one. <laughs> I didn't say I will send you one. We... As David and I have confirmed that Michael will send you a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, we actually I, I have agree. a lot of great new merch. So maybe for the next however many weeks, you can just model it for us. and then That sounds wonderful. You can send it to the people who would like to purchase <laughs> the it. The one that you wore. The, it's like like, yes. it's like in baseball, people really want like a game-worn <laughs> jersey. I'm going to need you to... <laughs> I like this idea. You're going to wear those on stage as you lead worship, and then, we'll, <laughs> then we will sell them. That as is a, fantastic. As I do not like Worship-used t-shirt. Do, does Michael he need Beers. to sign them? Absolutely. Okay. I will that sign only it. increases the value. Wash this before you wear it. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Beers. <laughs> so if you would like this t-shirt specifically, <laughs> I'm gonna t -shirt. How much, is there like an upcharge? Do they pay what he mm, pays? Good question. Is good question. Less it's or more, more? I think it's absolutely more. It's more. Yeah, it's yeah. way more. Okay. Yeah, so like for instance, if I wanted to get a Byron Buxton, he's a, one of those supposed to be star players for the Minnesota Twins. Okay. If I wanted to, if I wanted to go buy a Byron Buxton jersey, I like I could get a replica one, for, you know, 110 bucks or something probably. Okay. If I wanted to buy a game worn authentic Byron Buxton jersey, I'm probably spending 300 some dollars on wow, that. Wow, okay. Oh. So like so, a huge percentage. There's shirt. probably some dirt on it. So, you know, if you have some like sweat that dripped there off will be of you, sweat. Yeah. I can guarantee that. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe mm. so in, in can just tell how excited everyone at home is right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> to get this at our Wilson campus this week weekend this past weekend we had cake to celebrate Pastor Mike and Kylie did you have any of the cake? I did have some cake. So maybe there's like a cake Ooh, stain still on it. Yeah. You could send them with like the Pastor Mike. And I didn't Kylie wear this shirt cake. though. Oh. I had a different shirt on. Well, there's still cake left, so you could eat I the could cake. I could eat some cake. If you yeah. want cake spilled on it, <laughs> <Time out>. ind <laughs> indicate that on your connect card. <laughs> Hattie, is this what you planned on us talking about during the lobby this is today? Exactly. Is it time for service to start? This? <laughs> so, um, let us know. We could have bidding in the uh, chat. That's, I think it's a great idea. Also, or in the YouTube comments. Or YouTube one. comments. Yeah. yeah, forget about all, those. All proceeds will go to the church. Oh, great. I'm not going to pocket them. That's but very noble of I will, you. I will, I will keep enough to buy another shirt. There you go. <laughs> because I do like this shirt and I He's want this shirt. He's going to buy all so. of the merch with the <laughs> money that he makes. <laughs> you got to spend money to make money, Hattie. That's, that's good, David. Yeah. That's yeah. good. So start your bidding in the comments. All Speaking of the chat box, my favorite part, mm -hmm. chat in the chat box this morning. If you haven't been yet, we'd love to know your name, where you're joining us from, um, if you have any New Hope merch. Yeah, let us know. Yeah. Be fun. Um, also, last week we talked about these bracelets. David and I are still, or Michael and I are rocking them. David? Yep. Uh, I took mine off when I took a shower and forgot to put it back on. Yeah. So it's Bummer, sitting dude. on the counter. You got to just shower with it on. Yeah. Just all the commit. Time. I, I feel like eventually <laughs> that is what will happen, sure. but it's such a new, oh. it's so new at the moment. I was like, no, I got to I gotta okay. take care of it. And then eventually you have them long enough and you're like, it just, whatever happens. It needs to be washed anyway. Yeah. Also true. But last week we talked about, well, we talked about a lot of things, mm -hmm. but uh, grow, continuing to go grow and give. Nailed it. <laughs> it's first time. Sometimes I say quickly and I get the G's out of order, but I know the order. 
I just get them Definitely. grouped up sometimes. Yeah. But if you want one, if you didn't uh, send us a Connect card with your address, we would love to send you. Yes. Michael will also these will, send you. <laughs> these will not cost you money. Will they be, will you wear them before you send uh, them? <laughs> <laughs> that will cost you money. Next week on the lobby, Michael will have like <laughs> Just 15 bracelets, bracelets on each side, getting ready to send them out. This one goes to Joe and yeah, I like this well, idea. Yeah, we'll definitely like make idea. that happen for you guys as well. But Michael will send you a bracelet. For, for we, real, we will a, send you a bracelet. As a church, we'll send them to you. <laughs> he doesn't want the responsibility. <laughs> Too bad, Michael, you're getting it. Yay. We have an intern on staff right now. We'll have now. the intern oh, yeah. do it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, also, guys, it's Father's Day. It Happy is. Father's Whoa. Day. Thanks, Thank Hattie. You. To uh, some really great fathers. Thanks. That might have Does that include us? Or? Yeah. Oh, well, she was yeah, pointing at us. Oh, okay. I was pointing at both of you. And Michael, this year you get to celebrate Father's Day with another baby. I do, That's yeah. That's exciting. Yep, number four. Do you think he's going to get you a present? Do you, Probably. Do you get more presents when, like, the more kids that you have? No, I feel like it's less. That's super important. <laughs> <smart. laughs> this is why I stopped at two. <laughs> funds are distributed <laughs> sure, among yeah. more people. I don't know. I'm uh, not a father, so I wouldn't know how that oh, how that works. I Thank you for clarifying. Yeah. But I did bring you guys a special gift for Father's Day. You did. It's disconcerting. Yeah, it's under my chair right now. I'm I'm trying to decide oh if we have enough time to. We we have a, like three and a half more minutes. Wow. Is it something lobby. I can spill on my shirt so I can send it? To it you? is actually <laughs> now that you say. You know, I know for Mother's Day, typically uh, it's a really special day. People get really dressed up. You do like a fancy meal, probably some pretty cool gifts. For Father's Day, I feel like I don't know how exciting it is for you guys. I would really like Michael to get all dressed up this fall. <laughs> Spoiler alert, we record these in advance, so it's not quite Father's yeah. Day yet. But happy record. Father's Day, 12. Yes, but when you're us. watching, it probably is Father's Day, so happy Father's Day. I would really like Michael to get super dressed up for Father's Day, uh, as you're saying everyone does for Mother's Day. Just out of nowhere, he's in like a like a tuxedo his cool hat on Sunday. He has. Oh, yeah, with his yeah. cool hat. We'll see what wouldn't I can do. wouldn't match a tuxedo at all. If, but... you, if we do that, how could they see if he... Dressed up really Oh, we'll fancy. add photos in next week okay. if that happens. Yeah, stay tuned for, sure. for Michael's really fancy. <laughs> if he does Thanks it, for I'll volunteering go. me to do <laughs> all kinds of stuff this week. If I, he does I it, don't you it. have to do it as well? Like, I feel like you both need mm -hmm. to. Like, mm -hmm. you can do it together. I'll wear my nicest basketball jacket on Sunday. That's like the, nice, the same the jacket nicest you wear the all the time one. around here. The nicest one. Do you guys want to take any guesses? <laughs> as to Is it a plate? A plate and napkins. I feel like if Michael wanted. sniffed it strong enough, he could smell it. <laughs> I cannot smell it from here. And that's really concerning <laughs> that she thinks I could. <laughs> well, I brought you guys some lunch meat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> Michael's face was actually kind of excited. <laughs> no, that was the most sarcastic I could be. Oh, that's um, awesome. Did you take it from us? <laughs> no, Did you go yours. in our fridge no, and take not. our lunch meat? It's not yours. Oh, okay. But I did even uh, make sure that it... My <laughs> goodness. <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> I made sure it's good to be. There you go. Why did she say I mean lunch meat? I'm, you know what? I'm too far away. I'm okay. Oh, no, David. <laughs> I'll get mine later for sure. Okay. I can toss you some if you... you... No, you know what? I think I'll be okay. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Please toss it to him. Oh, I feel like we're off the rails a little bit. I'm sorry. New Hope family... Michael, aren't you gonna eat some of your Father's <laughs> Day presents? It actually smells pretty good. Is it is it ham? No, it's turkey. It's turkey. Yeah, it's a brand new package, freshly opened. I really wish David would. I know I can't get up and move, but I wish. Yeah. It's good. You should have two. <laughs> I'm gonna just set it down for now. I'll eat it later. Okay. This is good. I have a softball game tonight, and this will give me some good yeah. energy. So. I was, like, you know, it's like meat, like. And Father's Day, I feel like those things just really go together. Uh, my five-year-old has a t-ball game. Actually, I don't know if it's a game or just a practice. I'm not really sure how is, it all works. It's he... the first night of t-ball. But who's going to hit better tonight, you or Layton? Probably Layton. Yeah. Ooh. Wait, you, he... he has t-ball and you have softball? I've seen his swing. He hits better like when you're pitching it to him, though, mm -hmm. than off of a tee. He also considers them two completely separate sports, which is my favorite. That is, that is. I'll be like, do you love playing baseball? He goes, I play t-ball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't get to play baseball yet. I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it makes a little bit, I mean, it's a different name. Yeah. So I understand that. We do got you, about 30 seconds left, Pastor Hattie. So wrap it up. Don't, don't jump into <laughs> the next don't subject. Don't add any more lunch meat. 
<laughs> but that's that's all I had planned for you guys for Father's Day. So I hope you're really blessed. That's so by kind. Are, are blessed. you offering to, to send lunch meat to no, people? Oh, no, okay. That, that was just anything that Michael okay. Michael's apparel. Well, we're glad that you guys joined us today. We have a really special message from Pastor Leo yes. today. We're excited to hear awesome. him teach that we don't often get to hear him. So mm -hmm. I feel like that makes it extra special today. So mm -hmm. make sure you stick around for that great message from him. Happy Father's Day to those of you dads who are joining us today. And we will see you in a minute. What's up, New Hope family? Welcome to New Hope here. We are so glad that you've joined us today. We're gonna have an awesome service, but before that. It's Father's Day. It's Father's Day. Right, so we wanted to wish you a happy Father's Day and yeah. you. Oh, th thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Not just them, but right. me also, yeah. I appreciate that. Michael is over there too, and I wanna wish Michael a happy That's Father's Day. He's waving right now, <laughs> even though you can't you see him. Can't see. <laughs> but happy Father's Day. I hope that you have uh, a lot of fun stuff that you're gonna do today. I usually like to watch the twins on Father's Day. Yeah, I like it's to go fishing go on Father's Day. Not that I am a father, but. Do you I like go, go with your dad, or do you leave? <laughs> you yeah, leave your dad fishing. and go fishing by yourself. We'll yeah. catch a lot of Whichever fingers. your dad prefers, you know, help him have a great Father's Day. However you want to celebrate. Yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> so happy Father's Day to all of you. Uh, we love you. We're so thankful for everything that you guys do for your families. Uh, but we, we really do have a great service today. Pastor Leo has an awesome message for us that I'm very excited for. Yes. And before that, we're going to go into a time of worship. So church, let's worship together today.
Well, hey, church, thanks again for joining us today. Just a little bit, Pastor Leo is going to come out and give a message. Uh, but for right now, we have a message that's just for your children. It's called New Hope Here Kids. Pastor Andrea, Pastor Anna, they have a great time playing a game. There's a time of worship. There's also a time of teaching. Uh, so you can click the link in the chat, grab a second device, hand that to your children, and they can focus on the message that's for, for them. And you can fo focus on the message that's for It's you. always so fun. Yes. Yeah, kids yep. really enjoy Maybe. being able to have a service that's just for them. Also, in the chat right now, there is uh, something called our connect card if you're newer to new hope we really encourage you to fill that out if you've been joining us for a long time we still encourage you to fill it out i love the connect card and the chat box speaking of the chat box if you haven't yet said hello or good morning or ask people how they're doing today put that in the chat yeah. box right now i think if you had a device with you right now you would i would pull it out yeah. i would say hey what's up everyone my name is michael how's it going i don't know if i go that far oh okay we, <laughs> we love to know your name mostly we just love knowing uh, who's joining yeah. with us who's part of our new hope family uh, so make sure you fill out the connect card in the chat box uh, also on there if you're looking for ways to get involved if you just have questions like what did I stumble upon and I want to learn more <laughs> you can put all of that on your connect card yeah and right now we want to give back to God his tithes and our offerings and you can do that very easily by clicking the link in the chat it'll take you to a website with all the options um, but we just want to say thank you to those of you that faithfully give yeah. uh, your giving impacts our mission here at New Hope we are able to go grow and give because of uh, what you give to us so we thank you for that uh, if you are new new to New Hope here, if this is your first time, we just want to say uh, take a pass on the offering mm -hmm. and, and thanks for being here and yeah. uh, this this uh, service is just a gift for you. Yeah, absolutely. And church family, we would love to be able to pray for you today. There's a couple ways that we can do that. Put a prayer request on a connect card like we were talking about a moment ago. You can find that in the chat box. But if you're joining with us later, if you're not joining live, you can find that on our New Hope app. Uh, just search New Hope in an app store. Yes. Uh, it's blue. So <laughs> find that. You can put prayer requests on that. If you're joining with us live, however, if you click in the chat box right now, uh, it'll take you to a chat where we yes. have people who are available to pray with you right now. So you can put your prayer request, your praise, uh, whatever's going on in your life. We would love to hear about it and be able to pray for you today. Uh, and with that, before we go into the message, we're going to pray together. God, uh, we thank you for uh, just this time that we get to come together uh, to worship you, to praise you, uh, to learn from you as we hear from uh, your message from Pastor Leo, God. And we just thank you for uh, just a gift that New Hope is uh, to all of us, God, that no matter where we're located right now, we can gather together to learn about you and to praise you and, and to do the things we know that uh, we need to do uh, as we walk in relationship with you. And so, God, we thank you for the people who are joining us. We just pray over each of those requests that uh, maybe people are naming or they're not naming but we know that you know those things and you hear their thoughts and you hear their prayers and so we just pray for those God and uh, we pray that each person uh, would just know today that uh, you see them and you know them and and you love them Father uh, and that you are always working in in their requests and, and working for uh, all of our good God because that's who you are you are a good God who is faithful to each of us so Lord we thank you again just for this day uh, this time that we can connect with other believers. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hello, New Hope. Welcome. And for those of you who are also members of PH Church, welcome too. Thanks for joining us online. Today is Father's Day. And so we're going to start off with a with a weird question. I'm going to I want to ask a question to all the dads and husbands out there. Hey guys, have you ever crossed the line? Well, not that kind of line, of course, because it's Father's Day and we're at church. So, even though you're online, we're still at church, so we're keeping it wholesome. So, I'm here right now, and I'm, I'm going to explain that in a bit, but I'm here right now to ask all the dads and husbands out there to cross the line with me. Again, not that way. So um, it's a decision. I'm asking you to cross a line or the line because it's a decision that will affect all of life. It's not just your life. It's all of life. There's no retreat. When you cross this line, there will be no retreat. When you cross this line, you will pass a point of no return. When you cross this line, there is no going back. And so if you're ready, then let's go. We're going back to the time of Joshua. 
Joshua crossed the line as well. It was, he crossed this line during his speech when he recounted God's mercies to Israel. So if you, if you would open your Bible, whether it's a digital Bible or a traditional Bible, you're more than welcome to do so. Join me as we go to uh, verse 2. Well, Joshua chapter 24, the verse, verse 2, and then we're going to jump to verse 15. So it says there, Joshua said to all the people, This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. Long ago, your ancestors, including Terah, the father of Abraham, and Nahor, lived beyond the Euphrates River and worshipped other gods. But if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, then choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, whether the gods your ancestors served beyond the Euphrates or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Now this line is the line that every husband and father ought to cross because just like Joshua, every person who calls himself a Christian need to make three decisions. We will go through all those decisions today. And unfortunately, I have the alliteration sickness too. Blame Pastor Mike for that, I guess. But yeah, I got it. I'm a pastor, I got it too, so it's all going to start with the same letter, the letter P. So we're going to start with the first one. The first one is, it's a personal decision. Joshua says, as for me, I will serve the Lord. As for me, I will serve the Lord. And here's the thing, if you think about this, without waiting for a show of hands, Joshua declared his commitment to God without waiting for anybody and in, in, in trying to see if anybody was with him, he says, I will serve the Lord. He didn't wait for anybody. He didn't wait for support. He didn't wait for others to be committed before him. He said before everyone, I will serve the Lord. Joshua knew he could not speak for his whole clan. Joshua knew he could not speak for the whole nation. Joshua knew he could not even speak for his whole tribe, but he could speak for himself, and he did. And that's the thing. It didn't matter if no one else did. For Joshua, he would serve the Lord. So dads, husbands, guys, have you ever made a decision like this before? I have, me personally. When I decided against all wisdom to go into ministry, and if you ask me what I learned about making these kinds of decisions, well, bottom line is this. It takes more than just guts. We're going to talk about what it takes for a bit before we move on to the second one. What it takes is, for, to make Joshua's decision, here's the first thing. A man must know the Lord. And here's a quick personal diagnostic check for us. Dads, if your child right now asked, or asked you about who God is, what would your answer be? How would you answer that question. If he comes up to you and says, Dad, can you tell me about God? Can you tell me about who Jesus is? What would your answer be? See, we can't make a personal decision to serve the Lord unless we know the Lord. That makes sense. And here's a red flag. If you think about it, it is a red flag if, if after being married for quite some time, we still know our buds better than we know our wives, right? It's a red flag. Can be a friend kind of a bud or a different kind of a bud, but if we know our buds 
better than we know our wives after being married for quite some time, that's a red flag. Now, if I have to go to my wife's friends just to find out if she likes bags better than shoes, it doesn't speak very well of me, does it? Or if I have to go to my, to my, friends, uh, to my, to my wife's friends just to ask if she'd like to eat at this restaurant or that restaurant, doesn't speak very well of me. And in the same way, we can't say that we serve the Lord unless we know who we are serving. To make Joshua's decision, we must know the Lord. We have to know the Lord. So dads, husbands, guys, how well do we know the Lord? Another thing, that, another thing that we have to talk about is to make Joshua's decision, a man must trust the Lord. A man must trust the Lord. So dads, husbands, guys, let me ask you again. Do we trust in the Lord? Have we transferred all of our trust to Jesus? Our actions, our decisions, especially the hard ones, especially the very tough ones, are a testament to what or who we trust. The Bible says that no man can serve two masters, and it's true. When it comes down to the brass tacks, what do our actions and decisions reflect about who we trust? Do we trust our friends first? Do we trust our spouses first? Do we trust our boss first? Or do we trust in the Lord so much that no matter what happens, no matter what happens, no matter the event, no matter how hard it is, no matter how big or small we are facing, the problems that we face, we go straight to God. Because we know that we trust in Him. We trust in Him the way a five-year-old goes to his mom or to his dad because they know that they can trust in them. Who do we trust? Dads, husbands, guys. To make Joshua's decision, a man must trust the Lord. Do you? Another thing that we have to remember is to make Joshua's decision, a man must serve the Lord. See, Joshua did not just decide to know the Lord. He did not just decide to trust in Him. He decided to serve Him. He did not ask for reserved duty in God's service. He put himself directly in active duty to serve God. God was not just an in-law to Joshua. You know, that is, you're related to God because of just someone that you're married to. They're related to God and you're related as an in-law to God. He was not like that. He was directly related to God. He served God. Joshua committed himself to personal service. Now, many fathers and husbands commit themselves to believe about the Lord, and that's true. And some of those commit to trusting the Lord. Yeah. But very few take it to the next level and commit to serving the Lord. This is a hard decision. It is. It's a tough decision to make. It is a constant battle with ourselves. Think about it. When you commit to to serving the Lord, it's a constant battle within yourself. It's a constant battle within myself. It's a constant battle within ourselves. We need to keep deciding to serve the Lord. You can't just make a decision one time and then Everything follows after that. It's a constant decision that you have to make. 
you have to constantly make the decision to serve the Lord. After, uh, after our decision to serve the Lord, we have to follow up our initial decisions with a hundred small choices in the right direction every single day. For, for those of us who do, can I just honor you right now? Those are tough decisions to make, but you make it. You're not perfect. None of us are. But you do it anyway. For that, I salute you. So dads, husbands, guys, have you decided to serve the Lord? Those are... Those are the things that, that, those are what it takes to, to, to make a personal decision to serve the Lord. And the second thing, the second decision that we have to make is a, it's another P, it's a paternal decision. Joshua says, as for my household, we will serve the Lord. It says, as for me, I will serve the Lord. As for my household, we will serve the Lord. Joshua recognized his role as the spiritual leader of his family, and he embraced that huge responsibility. While it's true that he could not make his family members serve God by decree, he could use his influence to lead them in that direction. And this may be controversial. It, it might trigger some people, but hear me out. And if you don't like it, my name is Pastor Mike Score, and I'm your friend. No, I'm just kidding. Of course I'm not, but he uses it, so have at it with him. I'm just, okay, so my, but here's the thing. My personal belief is that parents shouldn't say that they will not force religion on their kiddos for whatever reason. Is, here's a question. Here's a question that I have for you. What father would let his child... Choose whether they want to brush their teeth or bathe. Think about it. What father would let his child choose to do their homework or to do their homework or not, to go to bed or not, to brush their teeth or not, to bathe or not, that they have their choice and whatever they choose, they can do it. Is there any father who does that? Because if... You've seen the movie called Big Daddy, starring Adam Sandler. There's a scene there where we see what happens when we give in to everything that our kiddos want. And that didn't end well. So no father keeps his kids away from the doctor because he fears that the trip might make them hate the doctor. And yes, even the dentists too. We take our kiddos to the doctor because it is in their best interest. We take their, uh, our kids to the dentist because it is in their best interest. We tell our kids to do their homework because it is in their best interest. We tell our kids to go to bed early, especially if they have school the next day, because it is in their best interest. The same should be true and ought to be true when it comes to church. If we teach our children how to walk, talk, eat, swim, drive, and work, here's a question, why? Why should we be afraid to teach them about serving the Lord? Carl F.H. Henry, a Christian theologian, once said, One child lost to the faith usually becomes a family lost to the faith and not many generations later a whole community of unbelievers is set in motion because of some earlier neglect of parental duties listen dads husbands listen there are real monsters out there that are after our children and they will get them too unless we stand up for Jesus and lead them to serve the Lord. 
No matter how successful we become, no matter how famous we become, if we lose our family spiritually through neglect, we have failed. Personally, nothing would break my heart more than to see when I'm at the end of my days that my children and my grandchildren make fun of me for my strange ideas about God and the Bible. Andy, my wife, and I do our best to lead them to know, to trust, and to serve the Lord. We do our best to teach them. We do our best to show them what it means to serve. And that is the line that I crossed along with Joshua that day. This is the line that I am inviting every husband and father to cross today. Every man needs to make this decision for the future. How about you? The third decision is a public one. If we jump back to verse 2, it says there, Joshua said to all the people, he made a public decision. And while it's true that it's better to make decisions privately than not, uh, than not at all, well, it is still best to make an important decision public. Joshua knew this too openly and clearly, before friend and foe, before believer and unbeliever, before the whole nation of Israel, Joshua crossed the line. So dads, husbands, I'd like to encourage you all today. Make clear whose side you're on. Take a stand. Let your decision be known publicly. Why? because deciding publicly seals it. If a person does it privately, they can easily back out of it because nobody knows. But then, and, and if nobody knows, then there's nobody to hold them accountable, right? But if they decide publicly, if we decide publicly, others know and expect us to carry out our commitment. But more than that, deciding publicly encourages others to make the same decision as well. So how about it? Dads, husbands, it's time to get off the fence. It's time to cross the line. Remember that one single decision can affect generations. We may not know it, but a decision that you make today can determine things for generations down the line. So if you haven't crossed that line yet, you're standing in front of it right now. The question is, will you cross? Some think, or some will say, I'm going to think about it. And to those who do, John Ruskin, said one of the worst diseases to which the human mind is liable is the disease of thinking thinking and thinking but never deciding and never acting is a disease and it can be fatal there is a time for thinking but thinking that does not lead to a decision and end in action has no value that decision is urgent Joshua thousands of years ago knew that and so he said choose this day whom you will serve there's no doubt what that decision should be every man every father every husband should take his stand with Joshua we all ought to say it and we all ought to say it publicly it doesn't matter what others do as for me in my house, we will serve the Lord. So cross that line.
Well, hey, again, New Hope, we hope that you found today's message valuable and that it encourages you to take a next step. Yeah, it was so awesome hearing from Pastor Leo today. Mm -hmm. And Pastor Leo is going to be taking over the Grow Podcast in the interim. So uh, we really want to encourage you always to join us on the Grow Podcast. But we have a new study starting on Romans this week. So the Grow Podcast is just our podcast. It's a great way to keep growing uh, through the week. It's Pastor Mike had, what did he do, 102 episodes of it. Wow, that's and a lot now, of Grow and, Podcast. I know. And now we're going to start uh, this kind of deep dive on Romans. It's going to be like a Bible study. It's going to be really fun. I encourage you to read through Romans 1, verses 1 through 17, because that's what we're going to go through in, in the podcast that comes out tomorrow. So the new episodes go up every single Monday. Great way to keep, uh, keep growing throughout the week, diving deeper in your relationship with Jesus. So make sure that you check that out. on you, The video is on YouTube. You can also get it on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Yes. At the start of the service, we talked about our bracelets. We did. Or I don't remember what you and Michael called them, but they weren't just I think bracelets. Bra Bracelets. Wristbands. 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 Uh, yes. If wristbands. you don't want to call them bracelets, yeah. you can call them wristbands. Yeah. But we have Go, Grow, Give yes. wristbands. And if you didn't get one and you would like one, fill out a Connect card like we talked about uh, in the in the chat mm -hmm. or on our uh, app. Uh, we will send one to you. Yeah. Michael will specifically. My, yeah. send Michael said one on the lobby that he would. <laughs> well, someone will. But yeah. make sure your address is on your Connect card too. Because if you just fill out a Connect card and you say, I want a wristband. And we'll just send one to, we'll pick a random address. That would be fun, And maybe actually. it'll be you. Maybe, yeah, we but probably it won't be. <laughs> but yeah, so make sure let your us address. know and include your address <laughs> yes. so you can get it to your house. Yeah, yeah, make sure that your address is on there. And then come back next week. And don't come back alone. Invite somebody to come with you. But we're starting our new series that's going to kind of go all summer long. It's going to be really great. We're going to learn about a lot of the different parables that Jesus yeah. told. Parables are stories that Jesus told in order to teach something. So it's going to be a really fun series. It's going to be an awesome summer. So make sure you're back next week. Until then, let's go and be the church. Stand to the side because I don't want you to hit me. I'm to the side. Nope. Twist backwards. <clears throat> and now you're going to want to swing at the ball. Cool. Is this cool? Oh. Stop. 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 Three, two, one. Dad! Uh, you I weren't supposed to win! Sometimes, sometimes. I was supposed to win! Sometimes you win. Sometimes you lose. It's, it's gonna be okay. I was yeah. supposed to win! Here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> Try your hardest. Good job. You did great. Is this cool? Yeah, it's really cool. Is this cool? Is this cool? That's all. Oh, so cool. Dad? Dad? I'm hungry. Here we go. Your favorite. Dad? Do we have any of just the white ones? Not today, bud. Sorry. Here you go, ready? Catch it. Here you go. Here it comes. Oh, good catch. All right. Dad, yes. you didn't give me a hug. Can you stay for just a couple minutes? Yeah, yeah. I'll just sit right next to you. I'm going to turn the light off, okay? Okay. Here, buddy. Can you sing me See a Victory? Is this cool? Is this cool right here? Oh my goodness. So that's really cool. Is this cool? Got a girl's old cat. Spider-Man needs a hug. Oh, good night, buddy. Good night, Spider-Man. You go dream about saving the world. Oh my God, I'll never fail. <laughs> this is cool. I won. Dad! Yeah, what's up? It's still daytime. Sorry to say it's it's 845. It's lights out. It's time to go to bed. Close your window. It's still daytime. I know. It looks like it. It's somewhere in North Dakota. It's just it's time for bed. Dad! 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 There's a there's a monster in my bed. The monster was under there because he because he had lots of eyes. He had lots of eyes? Like how many? Four? Like this many. Wow, that's a lot. Night. I mean, you can kick it anywhere now. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, careful. All right, get your 
myself buckle now. Okay. Let me help you. There you go. Can you get off my neck? Are you ready to go to the park? Can you get off my neck? Um, slide it a little bit. How's that? Is that better? Yeah. Is that better? Okay. 